for you. This is News for Tucson, live at 6. Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. And I'm Monica Garcia. We begin tonight with a decision coming down in a major court case that has had all of Southern Arizona watching the trial of Christopher Clements. So the man accused of killing six year old Isabel Sellis has learned his fate today. Let's get straight out to News 4 Tucson's Eric Feek, who's live uh, outside the courthouse with the very latest on this, Eric. Sean, Monica, good evening to you both. The jury is deadlocked in this case and there has been a mistrial declared. So around 4.30 this afternoon, we went back inside the courtroom. The jury quickly followed. The jury telling the judge it had not reached a unanimous verdict. Judge James Marner asking the jury foreman whether or not the jury needed more time to deliberate. The jury foreman saying nothing would change their minds. And soon after, the judge declaring a mistrial. The jury here, made up of eight men and four women, took two full days to deliberate. There may have been reasonable doubt as to whether Christopher Clemens committed the murder. Isabel Sellis was taken from her Tucson home and killed in the spring of 2012. Her remains were discovered in a desert area of Pima County in 2017. Clemens is already serving a life sentence after he was convicted in the murder of 13-year-old Maribel Gonzalez. Back in June 2014, he was convicted of that killing last fall. Now it is up to the Pima County Attorney's Office whether they want to try this case again. Clements will be back in court on March 27th for a status conference. Now we have been outside the courtroom here for the last hour or so waiting to see if any jury members are going to come out. Sometimes they talk with the media. A lot of times they choose not to. We do know that the jury had a question for the judge sometime right before lunchtime this afternoon, but we don't know the nature of that question. Again, the jury failing to reach a unanimous verdict and a mistrial declared in a case that has captivated the Tucson community for more than a decade. We're live tonight downtown. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. And we will, of course, have more details as they become available in that case.